joining us on midday.com we have a choreographer who needs no introduction but Thoda we can de, please <laughs> <laughs> i watch every reality and ott show only because you need to understand what works and what doesn't what you should be saying and what you shouldn't it took me two seasons to kind of make a place in people's hearts because i got a lot of flack for the person i was for the size that i was because when you're behind the scenes you're just like yelling screaming shouting at people saying obnoxious things and then when you go on camera you suddenly realize that aap aise baat nahi kar sakte ho especially once i got the geeta ma um you know that that whole name came into being because main jahan jaati hu wherever i go people are meeting me and like the kind of love and respect i get then i just automatically feels like you don't want to be that person again who's yeah. obnoxious so joining us on midday.com we have a choreographer who needs no introduction but we can safely call her the mother of all reality shows that's geeta kapoor <laughs> or geeta ma as we know her it's yeah you can call me by whatever name as long as it's called with respect and love i'm okay with it <laughs> yes of course not many people get that kind of respect so it is actually I'm your big deal i'm yeah. humbled by it yes i am so and it's good to be here thank you we are glad to have you thank you for having and from what we know you have an old connect with midday as well many many years ago yes. many many eons ago when i was very very young and i kind of uh, did this fashion show who come whatever whatever and the first time an article appeared it was on midday and i had my face like it was this small and uh, it was a picture with this uh, actor vijay arora ji and then uh, Yeah, I was very excited. My mom went and bought some like ten, fifteen papers and like, oh. uh, yeah, it was you know in those days yeah. newspapers were our thing, right? So yeah, that was the only thing we knew, and it was a it was an honor to be, you know, uh, seen in any kind of newspaper for for a good reason, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And from there today, of course, everyone knows you as a known TV face as well, and of course your wonderful work in films. So how has that journey been now that you look at it now that i look at it i feel uh, you know when you're doing the job when you're doing the work you you never know yeah. what you're doing uh and to reap the benefits of it after so many years it just feels uh very humbling and it's i feel a lot of gratitude for what i've received so i think i've been blessed along the way i have not had a very uh if you may say it's not been a grueling journey but it's been a very fruitful journey for me and uh, i've enjoyed every part of it every process that i've gone through it has been a very nice learning experience so yeah, yeah. and you are also one of the very few people who made a successful transition from behind the scenes to in front of the camera and people accepting you giving you i still you prefer kind of behind work. the scenes but <laughs> yes i'm i'm very grateful that i got that opportunity yeah but did it come naturally to you being in front of the camera and oh. interacting with the audience Okay so my coming in front of the camera was never a problem because obviously I aspired at some point or the other to kind of do uh, you know to be in front of the camera uh, so facing a camera was never a problem but I find it extremely difficult the reason why I never also pursued an acting career is because I have an issue with learning lines oh. and memorizing lines so I have like I'm like 2 second uh, memory I can't remember lines. So if you give me a page and I can't I I just can't memorize it. So at some point I decided that boss ye mera this is not my uh field. Uh and so uh, at, I also needed some kind of monetary income for my family to survive. So then the dancing thing just kind kind of came my way and then that was happening but to come back from behind the scenes onto camera it was a very natural process because the show was very natural and organic at that time yeah. so i didn't have to learn lines i didn't have to memorize till date all my writers on the show everybody knows ki isko line dekh ke koi matlab nahi hai she is not going to justify them <laughs> so they just give me a gist of what they would like to get out on the show and uh, that's how i've been working for so many years it's been a very very good transition it has not been difficult uh yes but conducting myself in a certain way was a problem because yeah. when you're behind the scenes you're just like yelling screaming shouting at people saying obnoxious things and then when you go on camera you suddenly realize that aap aise baat nahi kar sakte ho and especially once i got the geeta ma 
um, you know that that whole name came into being then automatically you had to conduct yourself again in a certain way outside and behind like you know when you're on screen and when you're off screen as well because main jahan jaati hu wherever i go people are meeting me and like the kind of love and respect i get then i just automatically feels like you don't want to be that person again who's yeah. obnoxious and like you said people do expect a certain image from you and so has that changed you as a person as well yes it has um i would be lying if i say it hasn't changed me uh, there are expectations every time you meet people they have a certain any celebrity for that matter in every field that you do whatever work you're doing when you meet your fans when you meet the people who idolize you you need to also kind of cater to them for me to uh, maintain dignity for the word that was attached to my name at first it threw me off but then it became a natural process because i realized that that's not a character i'm playing or that's not it's just my personality that people had liked and you know given me that name uh other than that i think because i'm not playing any kind of part it's not that difficult True. to just kind of uh, you know manipulate the right words because you're around children most of the time yeah. that was not a task but it was a conscious effort for sure and that show dance india dance it became so huge you know like i think beyond people's expectations and everyone was hooked it, it was beyond our expectations <laughs> also we did not expect we were three people who had no clue what yeah. we were getting into No, but I think it really, you know, changed things. Even for other choreographers who, you know, suddenly yes, got did. these opportunities. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And uh, of course, the three of you all people loved you, Remo, Terence, and you. They still love yes. us. Let's talk about it in the present yeah. tense because it's a uh, very overwhelming for us. Yeah. Every time we go out, people do love us still. They do respect us still, and that I think is a blessing because you don't get that for so many years. It's almost thirteen years now. Yeah. yeah that's what i was saying that you know instantly they fell in love with you all and till today that continues instantly to nahi tha <laughs> instantly to nahi tha but season 1 i think remo got like a lot of love and praise season 2 terence got a lot of love and praise it took me two seasons to kind of make a place in people's hearts because i got a lot of flack for the person i was for the size that i was uh, i got a lot of flack for it and uh, why was i there because it took me time to kind of understand the game and understand the competition so yeah it took me time to kind of make place in their hearts but uh, it i've survived yeah but it was a success it, yes, and of course you kept getting shows after that yes, so clearly you know yeah. it worked for you yes and also you have been part of some iconic songs which we have to talk about <laughs> <laughs> which people discovered later but aap the unme right from kuch kuch hota hai to main hu na So do you remember like seeing yourself on the big screen like what was your reaction I hated it okay first of all the whole process in which kuch kuch hota hai happened and the song happened was like very instant so it wasn't like i was uh, you know asked to I, it was just told to me that you're going to do this people just came in so like how you see it in the film where a montage where you have like your makeup and your hair and your designer and everybody just like came into the picture just dressed me up and pushed me on set and then that song happened and it didn't bother me it didn't feel like anything because i thought like ye roz hota hai hum jate hain set pe ma'am will say uh, you know farah ma'am used to say ki acha you do one thing you go and stand over there you wear an outfit and do it one dancer is missing so it wasn't like a different process when i saw it on screen and when you are blown up into 70 mm i looked so big on screen <laughs> I was like, hey, Bhagwan, I'm so big. I mean, I'm so mighty. I'm so big. I'm so big. It kind of hit me really hard. But then that was me being um, critical and you know yeah, criticizing yeah. myself. But people seemed to have liked it, and yeah. it came at a very crucial point in the film. And I was the only one who kind of didn't <laughs> appreciate it then. Uh, but till date, people remember it. So it was good fun. I just all the cameos, all the appearances that I've done in any song has always been कि जाए काम कर ले कॉस्ट्यूम पहन ले और ये आई नहीं है या ये इंसान मतलब एक खाली जगह है उसको जाके भर ले it was always like that. But has that changed a bit today because with the kind of love you get, so are you also more accepting of you know like you don't criticize yourself as much? Uh, no, I do okay. every time, every episode. Okay. <laughs> uh, even now when I shoot, I go back when it gets telecast. I do watch every episode. Not only my own show, I also watch other. I have to admit this. I watch every reality and OTT show uh, only because you need to understand what works and what doesn't. what you should be saying and what you shouldn't agar main ye nahi sunna chahti khud then i don't 
I should make sure that I don't say it as well. So yes, but I see every episode and I, I will make sure that I go back and also talk to my creative team and say guys, this was not good the last time, it was not good. Or I don't think I should behave like this. So they say, no ma'am, it works, don't worry. And I'm like, <laughs> I will not be doing it. <laughs> no, but that's lovely. Even after all these years, you are still, you know, like a student, you still... This is yeah. our bread and butter. You know, I come from old school. Yeah. And uh, our teaching says that you need to work harder every day mm -hmm. if you want to make a space in the future for yourself. We work on word of mouth. We didn't have social media. We didn't have this kind of uh, uh, exposure to the people. Mm -hmm. So we, we were only on word of mouth. Ek show agar achha gaya, agar aapne ek show mein dance achha kiya, if you dance well on one show, someone will say ke why don't you take Geeta because you know she danced really well on my show. So we worked on that. If you uh, are a good assistant, of course I didn't have to switch my uh, gurus, I didn't have to switch the person I was working with. But it was all on word of mouth. So I am still in that school. Maha se mein badi nahi no, that's true and despite you know you are known to be a perfectionist but sometimes things as much as you plan they go wrong on set nobody so how do you handle no, nobody can be a perfectionist i've realized yeah, that you exactly. may want to but it's not a possibility and uh, we are all imperfect uh, we want to strive for perfection which i try yeah. but uh, i'm imperfect in every possible way in ways of talking looking uh, conducting myself and uh, as long as I'm not hurting anyone's sentiments so uh, then I'm okay but uh, I'm I'm filled with imperfections and I think it's good because it gives me scope to improve but last minute when things you know do go wrong maybe not as how you have planned so are you that person who all gets the time. hassled or are you like have you become calmer I'm I'm, I'm massively panicky um, I have I, I panic instantly when things don't go because I'm a person who plans. Mm. I'm a planner. I'm mm. I'm not someone who wants, you know wants perfection all the time. But I like to plan. Mm. So I want to plan. Ke main kitne baje I I put myself on a timer oh. that this is this is my time. Like I'll wake up at this time because my driver will come at this time. When he comes, I should be ready to hand over the keys. My dabba should be ready wow. <laughs> in the morning because I don't have house help. I as like never had house help. So I have to get up in the morning and do my own thing. My clothes have to be done in a certain way. Um, and I don't like ironing clothes. So I'm okay to wear that. That's my imperfection. <laughs> but it has to be ready for me to get ready on time. I have to reach set on a certain time. And then when people are like don't respect time, that pisses me off. So I'm a stickler for time. So, but when it doesn't go right, I do panic, but then there is a solution to everything. True. So, mere panic hone se, as lo long as I'm not throwing that panic on someone, my entire staff gets yelled at. <laughs> All the people who work with me get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they also understand where it's coming from and, uh, and I instantly also apologize. So, <laughs> yeah. okay. I don't have that ego, so I do say sorry, but they understand why. Yeah, that's lovely. That's the lovely attitude to have. And uh, also, you know, like with celebrities, people uh, see the successful side, but they don't really see the kind of struggles, sacrifices that you guys also make. Right. They just think, you know, instantly ho gaya. But has uh, there been anything that, you know, you feel that you have had to sacrifice to come to this uh, place today? I think time with your family is always sacrificed. Uh, I, I realized very recently before my mom passed that uh, that was the only thing that I kind of sacrificed was my time with her to kind of build a place and build a home for her, you know, to build a life together with her. I just happened to miss that time. Mm. But other than that, it's been a great learning experience. I don't call it a struggle. I call it my schooling because, you know, uh, every day taught me something new. Every day was a lesson. Uh, and if you don't have those lessons in life, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. So it, uh, for me, I never call it a struggle. I've never struggled. I've been very uh, blessed. I met the right kind of people. Mm. I did meet the wrong kind of people also. But uh, my learning has always been to look at the positive side of it, not the negative, always. Try. Yeah. I mean, but the negative does get to you at some point or the other. Mm. But it's been, a, it's been a great learning experience. The only thing I may have sacrificed was spending time, uh, you know, in the hope that, I don't give 
but maybe tomorrow i'll have ample of time but by then it was too late and then you know so uh, but i think i bear the fruits of what uh, i sacrificed then today uh, it's a comfortable life and also you are active on social media and people love your social media personality ki you know kuch dikhawa nahi is there hai. a personality yes. <laughs> <laughs> being real being real is your personality that will always remain uh, social media is something that i am still grappling with i'm still trying to learn uh, i don't have social media handlers i don't have anyone as a pr person so everything that you see being posted is all me uh, every edit that you see every reel that you see if it's co- uh, with, with my outfits costumes whatever it is so it's something that i am also trying to learn because i guess that's the future but a very um, i guess there's very few posts that are about me and my personal life so it will all be related to work or like a morning coffee but other than that i don't think there's a lot about my personal life out there so the personality that is out there uh, that's all that my personality <laughs> allows me to do <laughs> yeah but is that the real you you like to keep your personal life private and only there's a select path that you want to put you know on. there's something called an enigma i feel that because i'm old school yeah. uh, there is something that should always be kept um not like in the public eye because any ways our private lives are out there in so many ways aap kahin khane jao people are around they are like you don't know when people are filming you what is happening you're constantly being looked at so whether you're eating driving walking around going to restaurants meeting friends there is somebody or even holidays there is somebody who can flip out a phone and just like shoot you doing whatever and you can't be on that much guard all the time so that is already a stress but since people know so much about you kabhi kabhi kuch you know to just hold back and not put it out there i think is fair to us it also maintains the enigma of who this person is what is it all about that little mystery needs to be maintained is what i feel i cannot put out everything that i'm doing and main ye khana kha rahi hu ye main coffee pee rahi hu ye ab main कहाँ जा रही हूँ और मैं अंदर क्या करने वाली हूँ ऑल दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन आई कैन नॉट गिव दैट इज समथिंग आई कूड इन गिव अर्लियर एंड आई आई लेवर डू दैट नॉट पॉसिबल बट दैट टेक सम टाइम टू गेट यूज टू लाइक पीपल आर फिल्मिंग यू एनी वेयर यू नेवर रियली नो यू हैव टू बी ऑन गार्ड सो डू दैट टेक सम टाइम टू एडजस्ट टू नाउ स्पेशली एवरी वन हैज अ फोन वेन यू हैव टू मच टू हाइड इट अफेक्ट्स यू आई हैव नथिंग टू हाइड सो आई एम आउट विद माई फ्रेंड्स दे आर नॉट पीपल आई वॉन्ट टू कीप अवे फ्रॉम एनी वन आई I have no lifestyle to hide. So uh, if I go out and honestly, if I am going to have a drink, then I will take up. A lot of people say, "Okay, don't hold a glass in your hand when you're taking a picture with somebody." And I am. You will always find me with a glass in my hand. If I'm out socially and if I'm socially drinking, I would like people to know that this is the person I am. Please do not put me on a pedestal because, anyways, uh, because of the name that is attached to me, people have this image that ये कोई गलतियाँ नहीं कर सकती है या she cannot make any mistakes. We're human. I am going to make a mistake every day. So this is my lifestyle. It's out there. Uh there is nothing to hide. So it doesn't hurt me or it doesn't upset me that uh, I only get upset when people don't take your permission and they try to hide and film you like they pretend like it doesn't matter. Then they are like shooting you like that. It just recently happened to me and that pisses me off. Yes. If you tell me that can I take a picture of you? I'm like, yeah, you're welcome to do that. You know? Uh, depending on how people are asking and what it is that they are asking of me unless they put their arm around me and pretend i'm their best friend that is something that upsets me but kuch hai nahi chupane ke liye and also with social media everybody is a dancer now do you <laughs> so sometimes do you wonder <laughs> ki ye kya ho raha hai <laughs> no i don't actually it's good for them but i also understand ke uh, 15 seconds does not make you a pro at anything uh it took us a lot of years more than 15 years to realize that we could probably shake a leg um uh, and but if if it satisfies them in any way and if it provides them with a living why not so god bless them as long as i don't have to do 15 seconds of dancing to prove that i am a dancer i am okay with it and today we have a lot of kids who who are aspiring to be dancers right. especially after watching reality shows so any advice that you'd like to give them how they can stand out besides talent of course look i would really honestly like to put it out there that uh, 
whether they are kids or older uh, adults who are uh, attempting to be on a show or want to become dancers they need to learn from a master a guru a teacher you need to learn your craft under guidance watching other people make reels watching uh, things you know a lot of people come and say maine youtube se sikha ya instagram se sikha ya whatever that medium is that they are learning from understandable for the people who don't have the reach but if you really want to pursue a craft be it any craft you need to have a guidance you need to have a teacher who's going to uh, tell you the right way to go about it the technique to do it uh you know and your abilities they will hone your abilities and hone your craft for you people just land up on a reality show and get really upset when we say ki aapko aur seekh ke aana chahiye the reason being that it gives you a certain discipline so when you learn under a teacher when you are guided into something you have a discipline that is instilled into you to understand the nature of the people that you are going to work around with wo bahut zaruri hai so uh, i understand people get upset with us when we say this but my advice to everyone is learn your craft it will help in the long run we are still learning with all these new styles that are coming in it's it can really like bog you down but yeah get a teacher learn so that is wonderful that you know even today you say that you keep learning we have no option yeah. with the kind of styles that are coming in now it's extremely difficult to just go on set and say wah wah kya nache hua it's just not possible especially since people look up to us for a certain amount of advice where dance is concerned you need to kind of be with it mai i i am illiterate where the new styles of dancing are concerned but i learn from my dancers every day all the kids who come on the show all the contestants there are times when i'll just shamelessly go up to them and say भाई कौन सा स्टाइल किया ये बता दो वॉट इज वॉट आर द नुआंसिस ऑफ दैट डांस बिकॉज आई डोंट बिलीव एवरी थिंग इज अवेलेबल ऑन सोशल मीडिया आई डोंट थिंक एवरी इन्फॉर्मेशन इज आउट देयर ऑन अ सर्च इंजिन सो इट्स जस्ट गुड टू हैव फर्स्ट हैंड इन्फॉर्मेशन इट्स लवली एंड हैव यू ऑल्सो हैड इंस्टेंस वेर वी डू नो दैट यू नो समाइम्स parents kind of pressurize their kids to get into dance also absolutely so have you had such situations and how did you handle it my advice to them always is that let your child study it's great that if you're tapping into their hobby uh, or an extra curricular activity which is dance it's great uh, of course encourage them but don't push them into something at too early an age uh, let them finish their studies let them finish their education because um that is something that even i miss i would have loved to complete like i didn't manage to complete my education uh so for me it it that is a sore point but i always advise them ki bahut kaam aata hai when you go out there the etiquette with which you sit eat drink talk to people communicate with people sometimes education just helps let them be knowledgeable but let them also be encouraged to have a uh, whatever kind of hobby or skill if you tap into that let encourage them to you know kind of learn more about it yeah. but then now everybody thinks uh, fame uh, an instant fame is like much required it's great that dancing has become an is become a career option for people but i still feel that uh, we need to stop pushing the children to do something that they don't want to do for your own satisfaction it's like because i wasn't i didn't complete my studies i don't want to push my child yeah to become like a like a scholar because i wanted to dance and i wanted to become famous i couldn't do it my child will do it yeah. that attitude is wrong so wo mera ek hi hai ki you know great if you tap it just don't push the child to kind of do something they don't want to do yeah that's definitely something parents should keep in mind and we have some quick fun questions now uh, so a song that you hadn't expected to be as successful or as big as it eventually became i expect every song to become <laughs> big and huge um but i didn't expect a lot of uh, recognition for a song called roshni se uh, bhare bhare it's a beautiful song for sure and the actors you have most fun choreographing on set a lot of them and now that i've worked with most of the people in the industry i think the most fun 
we've always had was uh, SRK because he was always fun to work with. As an assistant, I've worked a lot with him. Lots of fun, like crazy fun, Ranveer Singh. Yeah. He's quite crazy. Amongst the women, I've had a joy of working with Madhuri ma'am. Wonderful to work with. Thoda sa craziness, thoda sa madness. I think uh, Priyanka is one actor who knows her deal and she knows everything but she can have a lot of fun when she's working she is very knowledgeable about what she likes to do that's fun to also have because she pushes you to a point where you need to kind of uh, tweak your work to make sure that she's happy with it a challenging song that you are proud to have pulled off i think sheila ki jawani because that was the first time my boss was standing on my head and seeing everything i was doing but she had given me a free hand to do whatever but uh, she was there, she was looking at everything. So that was one challenging song and another challenging song I had done was for Gajni. Uh, it was a song that was uh, with Jia, the lead Jia, a wonderful person. But it was so challenging because I, I had like everything in double image and it wasn't something that was being done in CG. So we had to do it all live. So that was really challenging for me. A director or directors who always get the best out of you? I have worked with so many people. But the one that I appreciate the most was Raj Kaushal because he gave me my first break. He kind of, uh, I had nothing to my credit in that sense. So he gave me my first break with Pyar Mein Kabhi Kabhi also because everyone on that set was new. So it must have been challenging for him. He, it was his debut. And I think everyone debuted on that film, from the music director to the choreographer to the actors, Dino, uh, Sanjay Suri, Rinki, all of them were making their debut on that film. So that was amazing. But the director who really pushed me beyond my limits was Ken Ghosh. I did a lot of work with him and uh, Boss has been like the most uh, encouraging uh, director in my life. You've had some beautiful numbers with him as well. Yes, Made in I, India, we did a lot of work together. Yeah. A uh, lot of my behind the scenes knowledge also comes from him. He's been a very, very important factor in my career, for sure. And toughest part of being a reality show judge? Being real. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want to do antics and you want to do stuff that other people are doing. You're like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. But uh, I think the toughest thing to do is just like be natural and like even though people are there to guide you to do something sometimes obnoxious or something different, uh, just to stay the way you are and like not bother what the world has to say about it because once it's done, it's done. 16 cameras on that set cannot lie. Yeah, so sure. to keep it real, to keep it true, uh, it I think it takes guts. Oh, sure. That's true. <laughs> and I think that's also why people love you. I hope yourself. so. I hope so because that's something I don't want to change. Yeah. And one song you wish you could recreate, your own song. I would not like to recreate. A lot of people ask me ki aapko kaun sa gana hai that you probably would like to do in your own version. I think every song is made with, you know, in a certain situation, in a certain kind of way. Every choreographer needs to be respected for that. Yeah. Because only they would know ki unke kya problems the while shooting that song or getting that song to come out the way it was. So for me to put my finger on any song and say, you know, ye main karti to, because you're doing it way later, you're doing it with much more uh, abilities, you're doing it with better equipment, better things. So instead of appreciating other people's work, we have started saying, if we would have. Yeah. And I, I couldn't have. And I wouldn't. Yeah. So even when we kind of, a lot of songs that uh, Farah Ma'am has done, People would come and, like she did Alay Payude, which was in um, Tamil and uh, with Mani sir. And then we were making Sathya in Hindi. Mm -hmm. So when Sathya was being made by Shad, Shad told me that there was a song called Pachair in Nirme in uh, Tamil, which we had done. Uh, she, he said, I want you to recreate that song here. But there Farah ma'am had done it and here I'd like you to do it. And she had shot that song so beautiful. It was all about colors. That basically it was a title song, Sathya, which yeah. later on happened. And I told Shah, I said, I know you're going to be very pissed off with me, but I'll have to refuse. And that's the song I can't touch. Wow. I don't want to recreate that because I know in what conditions those song, that song was shot. I don't think I can recreate that magic 
that she created with Madhavan and uh, Shalini, I don't think I could have. So, I just did the song that I had done in the original version. <laughs> so, I did Nagila and I left it at that. <laughs> but that song was beautiful too. Thank you. For sure. And the one thing you wish you knew earlier in life? Anything? I mean, what would I do? Jankar, kya hi kar lungi? I mean, I think the one thing that everyone wants to know in their life is when they are going to go from this world. <laughs> and I don't think there, there must be a reason why we don't. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I think whatever happens, there is always a reason for it to happen at that point. I wouldn't want to know that in advance because aap kitni hi tayari kar lo, what has to happen will happen. True. So, I am good not knowing. I am good to be surprised. As long as they are not horrible surprises, <laughs> I am okay with that. No, hoping for the best. For always, sure. always. Always. Thank you for being there when I was nobody and thank you for having me when I kind of made a name for myself as well. Definitely That is lovely. my thanks to Midday. <laughs> lovely having you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.